Good morning guys. Um, today is not gonna be a fun vlog at all. Yesterday started great. Um, I met Anne Marie. We were doing a photo shoot um, for fitness collection, having an awesome time. I came home and I, I started packing and I realized that I had a lot of things to do at home. So I canceled meetings that I was going to. I, I don't think I've ever canceled a meeting before, but I did. The New York Times wrote, The attack struck the heart of a nation, known for its peaceful and tolerance, and turned a warm spring afternoon into a scene of terror. And that is exactly how I feel like Sweden and Stockholm that is the safe place to be that is my home that is where I always go back to to feel safe and yesterday changed that so yesterday started great and then and then I got a call from my mom like terrified asking me where I was and in the beginning I in the beginning I, I didn't like realize what was going on she was like there's a truck that has been running over people at like the busy street in Stockholm and then I started like then everything happened very fast my best friend called hysterically crying people started texting, calling, like the Facebook blew up. And this is also like when you are in that situation and you start to think. You're talking to your mom that is working for the state. And I start thinking like, of course they're gonna attack like the people that work for the government. So when you talk to your mom that is like going as fast as she can, just taking a bus anywhere to get out of the city. That is not fun. It's one thing to text a friend and to call a friend when they are maybe having problems or is a little bit sick and checking if they are okay, but to call people and text people too see if they are alive. It was two hours of hearing helicopters, hearing ambulance and just checking that the people you love and care about were not at the, that street. And like when you were texting your friends and calling your friends and they didn't pick up in like one minute or like a couple of seconds or didn't answer in like half an hour that is like the worst minutes and seconds of your life and it's not confirmed yet but there were like all these rumors going around and I still don't know if it's true I don't think it's confirmed yet but that they were moving around like basically the whole Central Stockholm shooting people. So whenever you heard something new, you had to check with all of your friends that was that you know was living there or working there and see if something new has happened. So it was like there was hours and hours of seeing that everybody was okay. And I'm so lucky. I, I mean, I was at home. I had cancelled on my meetings. I was going around the city exactly that time. But I stayed at home. And I'm really, really, really lucky that all of my friends and family are now home and safe. And I really wanted to say, like, I really want to say that I... Yeah, I'm not gonna let the terrorists win, I'm gonna go out anyway and and don't let them control my life. I sat at home 
the whole night talking to my family and my friends and was terrified of even walking outside. At one point I really started to panic. I'm literally panicking. I literally have to check my phone every minute to see that everybody is okay. <laughs> this is sick. Like literally fucking sick and disgusting and horrible. You see like everybody is just like riding, are you okay, are you okay? And I'm fine, I'm not crying for myself. I mean, I'm fine, but I'm just so damn worried. And when these situations happen, like, why am I gonna travel? Like, what if something happens when I'm not here? I just want to be with my family and my friends and hug them and say that I love them. And be like, oh, why am I leaving all my friends and family to travel the world? And, like, the only thing I wanted to do was just to be close to them. But I guess that is a thing that you can't, can't do. You can't like stop living your life, your entire life. Yesterday I stopped living my life. But I can't do that my entire life because I'm scared. Like the vibe today in Stockholm is different. It's not the Stockholm that it was yesterday morning. This is not, this is really, really, really horrible. It is a horrible thing and I'm so sad for all the people that was there. I just want to say take care guys and hug the people that you love. I'm gonna see my best friend tonight and I'm gonna hug the shit out of her. <laughs> and that is also a very beautiful thing that the whole Stockholm came together. Everybody was opening their home up and so I want to end with that. I'll see you guys tomorrow with yesterday's vlog. The very happy vlog that I was shooting from, from 8 o'clock to 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So I see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Be safe. Bye guys.